Right now you know we unstoppable Unstoppable that we them can't stop ya No, unstoppable, no now we are going on unstoppable family so people the former prime minister mr pg patterson is in hospital following a serious motor vehicle accident at his upper st andrew home last evening now even though he is conscious and escaped major injuries to his upper body it is alleged that the former prime minister has sustained injuries to his hip and knee now it is my understanding that doctors are considering whether to perform surgery on mr patterson in the coming hours Last evening, Mr. Patterson was rushed to the 28th wing of the University Hospital following a motor vehicle accident which occurred at about 7.45 p.m. last evening. It's understood that the former Prime Minister, who is now 84 years of age, lost control of a motor vehicle he was driving and crashed in his gate. In a statement last evening, one of Mr. Patterson's friends, Mr. Alston Stewart, said that Mr. Patterson is undergoing a full, complete medical evaluation. He also confirmed that the incident occurred after Mr. Patterson lost control of a vehicle he was driving which resulted him having to be rushed to the hospital. Up to late last night, Mr. Patterson was still undergoing evaluation. However, Mr. Stewart noted that Patterson is conscious and surrounded by family and friends. Stewart also promised more information once a full medical assessment is done on Mr. Patterson. P.J. Patterson is one of the Caribbean's most eminent jurists. P.J. Patterson is Jamaica's longest serving Prime Minister, having served from 1992 to 2005. People, keep P.J. Patterson in your prayers, comment in the comment section and wish him all is well. This has been another one from Unstoppable TV. No matter what, don't make nobody stop you. Like, share, comment and definitely don't forget to subscribe. I'm out. Uh, any word of advice for young people trying to succeed in politics in Jamaica? Simply, I would say you have to have the right motivation. It certainly can't be for the acquisition of material wealth. If that's what your principal aim is, politics is definitely not the arena to enter. Nor must it be about the exercise of uh, Power for power's sake. It's really the use of uh, power and authority to improve the conditions, economic, social, and cultural of our people. What do you think uh, you are associated with or known for? I was taught and inculcated with the habits of always striving for the best. The school I attended had as its motto the utmost for the highest in a way that has become my mantra in life. Giving everything that you possibly can for that which is most worthy and most rewarding. That requires a feeling that whatever you do, you must strive always to be the very best. How important do you think personal values are to success? I, I think they make all the difference. The, you, you, you have to develop some clear set of guidelines which can guide you in your conduct from day to day. Uh, those would include ethical and moral values and I was brought up in a Christian family and therefore to a very large extent I have been influenced in formulating what is right and what is wrong. Uh, by what comes from that religious background and also a sense of purpose. Right now you know we unstoppable. Unstoppable.